So today I'm announcing that when I am elected governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia and I go to work for all Virginians, we will create the governor's task force to eradicate human trafficking. The goal here is not to reduce it, but to end it. And we'll press forward with three very important measures. We'll first energize enforcement of the existing laws and equip law enforcement with additional tools to stop human trafficking. Second, we'll empower survivors. These young women who have been trafficked need to have the support to not just find their way out, but to recover their lives. Third, we have to educate families and teachers and parents so that they can identify the signals and actually be preemptive in getting in the way of this cancer. So we're going to enforce and equip, we're going to empower survivors, and we're going to educate the public. And let me just expand a little bit on each one of these. First, enforce and equip. We must pull together our resources and make our laws and our law enforcement capabilities work better together. And as governor, I'll work with our attorney general, Jason Miares, our Commonwealth's attorneys all over this great Commonwealth, law enforcement, and most importantly, a newly established survivor advisory board to increase prosecution of the buyers who provide the demand for trafficking. We'll equip law enforcement and prosecutors with the tools they need to effectively prevent or prosecute human trafficking. We're going to deal harshly with those who demand the services that contribute to the abuse, who, do, who contribute to the exploitation and the degradation of women, many of whom are minors. It's time buyers are held accountable. And in some cases, they will serve time. They will. We will have a very clear message to the technology platforms like Facebook and Google. We must have your partnership so that we can fight together trafficking because it happens on your platforms. And if you refuse to work with us, then we're going to hold you accountable. Jason Miara is our new Attorney General when he's elected, and I will make sure that prosecuting attorneys have all the tools they need to shut down trafficking activities on these technology platforms, with or without the cooperation of the platforms themselves. We'll also ensure that all Virginia law enforcement is thoroughly trained on how to investigate trafficking cases and actually how to interact with victims. This is a big issue where our law enforcement heroes don't often recognize what's going on. And then we'll work with state and county authorities to aggressively audit the books of illicit massage parlors, businesses that are skirting tax laws, and we'll partner with landlords and other private entities to shut down the illicit massage parlor business for failure to meet their tax compliance. Folks, this is a really straightforward way to get them. Our second big emphasis is empowering these victims. We have to empower the survivors so they tell their stories to shape our trafficking laws based on their experiences. We have to support them so that they can mend their broken lives and they can have a full life back. Our newly appointed Survivor Advisory Council will consult with me, our Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears, and Jason Miars and all of our leaders to make sure that we are incorporating their recommendations to improve our laws, 
but also in the education and training that must go around to eradicate human trafficking. Finally, we will educate. We must educate the public. We must educate educators. We must educate young women. And anyone who comes in contact with victims or potential victims of this illegal trade. Right now, trafficking prevention amounts to an unfunded mandate. It's an un unfunded mandate that is passed on to local government. And when I am governor, this will be a priority and it will get the appropriate funding. We'll increase awareness of the National Trafficking Hotline and all the other resources that are available for victims to report abuse, get assistance, and become free from this modern-day form of slavery. We'll expand marketing programs so that we can recognize the signs of potential victims and the appropriate ways to take actions. We'll increase training programs like Just, the Just Ask Initiative founded by retired Fairfax County Police Officer Bill Wolf, so we can help ordinary citizens confront crime and save lives. We want to model this approach across the Commonwealth. As governor, I will ensure our educators receive survivor-focused, trauma-informed training, so they can recognize the signs of a person who's being trafficked, know how to act, and are aware of the triggers of the survivors so we can best meet their needs so that they can, in fact, live full lives. We'll bolster, we'll bolster school online safety training, the education for everyone to understand the amount of trafficking that occurs online, especially through Facebook. Friends, human trafficking is the slavery of our time. It creates lifelong trauma for victims. It leads to tragic consequences, lives lost, addiction, suicide. And while it's often called a silent crime, that is only because the victims have been silenced by their traffickers. Together, together, we will not only bring the full weight of our legal processes on traffickers and buyers, but we will equip survivors to heal and flourish. And we'll commit here, right now today, all of us, right now, to put an end to this abuse, to put an end to this exploitation, to put an end to this cancer, to rid Virginia of this evil criminal enterprise. <laughs>